friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. Look around you. How many living things do you think you can count? We are surrounded by millions of living things. Some, like animals and plants, can be seen with a naked eye. And others, like bacteria, only be seen through a microscope. We know that all living things have in common that they are born, interact, reproduce, and die. But we can't say that this living thing and that living thing are similar, can we? That's why we have to divide them into five different kingdoms. And today, we're going to get to know each one of them. The Biological Kingdom Group Living Things According to Their Common Characteristics There are five of them. The Animal Kingdom The Plant Kingdom The Fungi Kingdom The Nomonera Kingdom and the Protactista Kingdom. The animal kingdom is the most known. Animals are characterized by the fact that they are multicellular, meaning that they are made up of many cells. They are heterophic, which means that they feed on other living beings, like this chameleon that has just eaten a fly. Or this monkey that is eating that tasty banana. <laughs> Another characteristic of the animal kingdom is that almost all of its members can move around at will. These birds, for example, fly to a warmer place. Trees plants and flowers are part of the plant kingdom. Plants are also multicellular and as they manufacture their own food through the process of photosynthesis, we say that they are autotrophic. Plants, as we all know, cannot move. They are there, planted. <laughs> <laughs> the fungi kingdom is made up of multicellular and unicellular organisms. The unicellular ones are yeast. And the multicellular ones are mushrooms and molds. Mushrooms and molds may look like plants, but they are not. Why? Because they do not make their own food. They are heterotrophic. They feed on decomposing organism. Ugh. And of course, they cannot move. Or have you ever seen a walking mushroom? The Monera Kingdom is the kingdom of bacteria. These living things are unicellular and can only be seen through a microscope. Some are autotrophic, using sunlight to make their own food. And others are heterotrophic, feeding on organic matter from other living things. Some bacteria are dangerous to people, but they are still vital to the planet's ecosystems. And so we come to the Protactista Kingdom. This kingdom groups together living things that cannot be considered animals, plants, fungi, or bacteria. Its best known representatives are the protozoa and algae. Prototisks, living beings, can be 
unicellular or multicellular, autotrophic or heterotrophic. And some can move and some cannot. This protozoan, for example, is two millimeters long. It's tiny. And this algae, 30 meters long. It's gigantic. It's a very, very group of prototists. And now, before we finish, we have to remember that there are five major kingdoms. Animal, plant, fungi, Monera and Protectista. I hope you've enjoyed our journey through different kingdoms. I am off to visit my grandmother's kingdom. Goodbye, friends. Until the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello friends! Welcome to a new happy learning video! Meet a friend of mine! Nano is a very talkative robot. He talks and moves like a person. Would you say he is a living thing? And that rock over there? Pay attention! Wow! I thought it was a rock! Sometimes things are not what they seem. And that's why today we're going to get to know what living things and non-living things are. In nature we can find a lot of things. Animals, plants, wind, People, rocks, sand, water. Some of them have life and others do not. The things that have life, we call them living things. And those that do not have life, we call them non-living things. But how do we differentiate them? Because they talk, because they move. Hmm, Nano the robot speaks and moves. However, it is not a living thing. And this flower, it doesn't talk or move, but it is full of life. It seems confusing, but it's actually very, very easy. Living things are those that are born, feed, grow, reproduce, and die. Animals, plants, and people are living things. Living things need air, food, water, and react to environmental stimuli, such as cold, heat, or noise. What a shock he got! Although it may not seem like it, plants also react to environmental stimuli. Some flowers turn, following the sunlight. And look at this little plant. See how it closes as soon as it is touched? Non-living things, on the other hand, do not perform any of the vital functions. Rocks, wind, sea, fire and robots such as Nano are non-living things. They are natural, non-living things, meaning they are formed in nature. Like the strange rock, or this cloud that never stops traveling. And they are also artificial, non-living things, which are man-made. Yes, like Nano. Or this clock that makes cuckoo. What fun! Non-living things do not eat or breathe, or feel. Have you understood the difference between the two? 
let's review just in case. In nature, we can find living things and non-living things. Living things are those that are born, eat, grow, reproduce and die. For example, animals, plants and people. Non-living things are those that do not have life. They do not perform vital functions and they do not need to eat, breathe or feel. For example, rocks, air or this toy dog that bugs as if it were real. Well, now Nano and I are going to play in the garden for a while. Goodbye, friends. Until the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.